Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can achieve a dynamic behavior with your line chart right so generally what we have is we basically create a line chart let me just create a very quick line chart over here so let's say if this is a line chart you know our usual understanding or the usual way of configuring is that let's take a dimension which is your order date so i have order date or not this order date i need a date hierarchy a proper date and this is super store yep there you go uh, we have order date and uh, generally then we have a measure like for example sales and we create now what this chart does is it it provides you some flexibility in terms of drill down so we can click on uh, drill down we can turn on a drill down and this is like you click a data point and it will drill for example i want to know more about 2018 i click over here and it shows the 2018 it impacts this because these two charts are from the same dimension so uh, but i will just focus on this one for now and if i want to know more about april 2018 i will select this and this is select and if i need to go up it will go up right now for example i want to go to the next level from 2018 to quarter right so this is how it basically shows what it does not show you that this is for which quarter for which year these are the cumulative values of all the years right it doesn't tell you that whether it is 2018 quarters or what but these are the summation of all the quarters okay now the another one what you have is expand all down one level in hierarchy so you click over there yeah this shows you by quarter for each year then you further click it you show you the month and then if you further click it it show you by each day what's been shown over here now in this what we want to achieve is first thing first is we are having some of sales so first first thing we can do is we can make this dynamic then we can even make date dynamic that's what i've been i'm showing you over here so if i just remove this uh rather than using this which can be confusing for a normal user this is a lot of education required but if they can use it nothing like it right but still if they want to look at let's say cumulatively by year they can select it from here like from a proper filters which has been given over here right so you can select from each of these filters which is given here and you know get the output that is the number one thing i wanted to show you and i will show you how you can configure that then another thing is uh, this profit and sales right now what i have selected is profit but if i want to select sales it is showing the sales and if i want to look at the year it shows me the sales by year so that is also something which i can do also i can uncheck this and you can see it shows both sales and profit so depends on how many number of measures that you have it can select so how we can configure this and uh, get this dynamic behavior because what it does is it allows it gives the flexibility in the hand of the end user where they can do all of this so the way you can do that uh, let me just remove this and if i just remove this and uh, this so first thing first we need to do is we need to come here in modeling uh, new parameter fields and let's say d date okay d date then i can come to my super store table and this is where my date is which is this one and i select this order month year right so i can create this measure which will create the dynamic date sort of a slicer right which i can then use it okay so once we have this then another thing is i want to create a measure a dynamic measure so for creation of dynamic measure you cannot use directly sales or profit in parameters you need to create the measures like this sum of profit or sum of sales because chart expect the aggregation right and if we use it directly in this parameter this is non aggregated so the way we can do that is going into the modeling coming here in numeric Uh, and clicking on the parameter and d m e a s u uh, measure d m dynamic m e m e s let's say this much whatever the relevant name you want to give and then we can get these uh, m profit which is measure profit and measure sales 
which I showed you that you need to create simply by using the measure field which usually is here. So we create this measure which is this. Now what I can do is I can now create a oops sorry and do I need to click outside and then click here to bring this okay. So now I am selecting this all right. So I can then what I can do is I can then simply uh, bring in these dates D date and D measure. So D date is here and let me bring it on X axis. D measure is here. Let me bring it on the Y axis and what you get is these output right? and then you can select whatever you want like I have just selected here for sales and then you get the right output for your name. Now what do we want is let's say over here we want to create a small multiples based on some sort of a dynamic dimension. It's the same way we can create dynamic dimension by going into the modeling, selecting new parameter, field, giving it a parameter name and then from your table selecting whatever dimension you need uh, to get it. Now the thing is the, the best part about this is that for this dynamic dimension if I just select this chart dynamic dimension I bring it on the small multiples. What it does is let's say if I choose the category I can see the three different categories like this or I select the region I have the region like this. So in this way it basically shows you the trend of all of this together so that you can do all your comparative analysis like segment ship mode whatever you want you can do that. So that is all the dynamic behavior that you can achieve with this and before I go just wanted to share you one thing all of my power bi videos are present in my uh, spreadsheet which is my uh, which is my this uh, google spreadsheet like these two guys are using it over here or these two person are using it over here. You can use or create find all of my videos here search it easily and using the call link given in column B you can uh, jump onto that video. So this is to help you so that you can easily figure out any of my previous videos, dashboard tutorials and so on. With that thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.